My name is Natasha Neptune, and I'm the CEO and founder of Citadel Green Mountain. My background's actually in mechanical engineering. After my father passed away from cancer, I got into urban farming, and that was kind of like my therapy. And I just really developed a green thumb and just started um, working and growing food for myself, for my friends, for my family. Once legalization of cannabis started kind of coming through to the different states, um, just saw an opportunity to maybe, you know, get into that industry. And it's been very, very difficult for African Americans to enter into that industry. So I actually pivoted and became, started doing a lot more research into all the different things that you can do with hemp. And uh, came across this research being done by the University of Wisconsin that had to do with cannabinoid sampling. It was a way to really help uh, build some type of standardization across the industry when it comes to sampling hemp plants. We're hoping to help with identifying more robust strains and also just trying to understand which strains grow better in which region. Maybe that'll be a guideline for farmers. Some of my challenges are weeds, and in order to suppress that, I did invest in weed cover around the plants, and so that's been a big help. I do go through the plants and do inspections just to see if I see any kind of pests or if I see any kind of pathogen. Part of my strategy is to kind of keep the area as clean as possible and not let weeds kind of overtake everything. Right now, one of the biggest pests I have are grasshoppers who like to munch on the leaves. But what I am seeing is some beneficial insects like the praying mantis. My advice for new uh, hemp farmers is to definitely do your research. Not only researching seeds, strains, knowing what is typically grown in your area, and then um, determining if you want to grow indoor or outdoor, and then knowing what you're going to be doing with the plant after you're done growing it. Um, do you have a supplier to sell your product to? Understanding what your water source is going to be is important. And then understanding what kind of resources are available to you as a startup farmer. Even if you grow just one seed, just start growing, um, but also understanding what the <laughs> licensing requirements are. What excites me is the different things you can do with the plant. Because I have a background in engineering, I have all kinds of ideas uh, for different types of uses for the plant. Now, there's changes in the building codes to incorporate hemp as a viable material that's used in construction. So just trying to advertise to people and help generate a lot of interest to kind of um, encouraging our future, you know, so encouraging people to have an interest in, in farming and see the future potential. So I think the sky's the limit with what you can do with hemp and then encouraging people to be involved with the legislative process as well because that's going to dramatically help with what we can do with hemp and really making an impact on our environment as well as providing a way for people to provide a way for them to make a living. And um, so I think really pushing a lot of the, the new, the innovation that's going on in hemp right now and uh, advertising that more to our young people and just really striking up their curiosity will help them to like, hey, think like, hey, maybe I can do this.